don't apply any credit cards at all. What is going on guys? This is RJ Bautista, your local incredible realtor with EXP Realty. Today I'm gonna talk about or I'm gonna give you my top 5 list the things to remember when you get under contract. This is very, very, very important guys if you want to go ahead and close on time with your property or in the property that you are working with. Make sure to remember this one and also make sure to watch this video from this start until the end because I'm gonna give you all these important things that things to remember you know when you are under contract but before i start this video if you're new to my channel welcome please subscribe if you haven't done so and also the most important thing smash that like button for me and share this video to all your family and friends because you know why sharing is scary so without further ado let's jump into it let me just explain to you what does under contract means okay under contract means when you pick a property and then you like this property and you tell to your real estate agent or realtor like me Let's say, hey, Realtor, I like this property. I want to make an offer. I want to move forward with this property, okay? So what we need to do as me as a Realtor or a real estate agent, what we will do is we will make a contract and this contract contains all the uh, pre-approval that you have and also how much the down payment that you will pay for the seller and all that stuff okay so once you get this contract or once I made this contract what I will do I will submit this contract to the seller who's selling the property and then once the seller is happy about your contract or your offer to that particular property what the seller do is they will sign the contract and then once the seller or the owner of the property sign the contract then you are or we are under contract wow. i hope that makes sense all right if it's so smash that like button for me so make sure you understand that one so this is the five things you need to remember when you are under contract number one tip that I'm gonna say is once you get under contract, it means like you got a pre-approval with your lender, all right? So the most thing or the most important thing that you need to do is like don't apply any credit cards at all, okay? Why I don't need to apply any credit card at all? Simple, because once you apply a credit card, it means like the lender who is run your records, they need to run your records again and they will ask you why you need to apply a new credit card right you are in the contract of buying a property if you apply another credit card while you are under contract it means like you need another debt or you are going to another debt you need to avoid any debt at all all right i hope that makes sense because the more debt you have it means like the the less money that the lender that they will loan you for mortgage so avoid applying any credit cards at all that's the number one thing that i want you to remember okay if you have any question on that one comment down below and i will answer all your question about it so let's go to my number two number two so my tip number two here is don't buy or loan any money while you're under contract so it's dissimilar like when you're applying credit card so let's say you want to buy a property and then you are under contract what you need to do is try to avoid finance some stuff all right that's the one i'm trying to say here financing some stuff while under contract will affect again your loan while in the process of buying a property why again what i said earlier they will run your credit once they run your credit it means like you are already credited that amount of that let's say 500,000 loan and then once you have like a 500,000 loan what will happen is you have more responsibility to pay your monthly debt so that your loan will get affected okay so i would say try to avoid financing any car any furniture or any stuff or any cell phone that you will end up paying monthly because of what could happen or could affect loan processing while buying a property all right so remember that one because that's another huge and important tip that you need to remember while in the under contract process of your property so let's go to my tip number three tip number three is when you are paying your bills monthly make sure that you are paying your bills monthly 
on time, okay? What do you mean paying bills monthly on time? Try to avoid any late payments at all because uh, once again, once you are pre-approved, they will check your credit that you are paying on time on all your payments, okay? They can see all your transaction in your account. When are you paying? Are you paying monthly? Are you paying on time every month of your credit card? If you are paying amount of your monthly payments on time because they can check that and they can track that. So try to avoid any late payments at all. What you are paying right now, make sure that you are paying on time. If you can pay early, that's good. If you can't, you know, try to be on time and but try to avoid late payment because once again, they will affect your credit while in the process of under contract on the property. Okay, that's another important. So let's go to my tip number four. So tip number four is if you are buying or if you would like to buy a new stuff, let's say you want to buy a new cell phone or a new shoes or a new car, okay? Make sure that you have enough cash to pay for that. If you can pay by cash, do it. If you can pay by debit card and then direct debit in your account that you don't have to own anything from your credit card, because like if you have a cash to pay for something while you are under contract, they cannot touch that one because they won't affect your credit score. They won't affect your credit. Once they see that you are buying stuff and then, you know, keep applying for financing, that will affect your credit. So let's say you want to buy a brand new cell phone like this all right and then you have amount of one thousand dollars instead of paying credit card while under contract on the property pay a cash pay cash or pay debit card so that you know once you buy or bought this cell phone you don't have to worry about paying monthly or financing this cell phone because once again once financing happens it will affect your credit and then it will affect under contract on your property okay I hope that makes sense. Remember these things because this is important. If you're not going to remember these things, what will happen at the end? Either they will delay your closing or they might deny you like two days, three days, four, or maybe a week before your closing. And that's really, 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 really hard. All right. So let's go to my last tip. My last tip will be try not to buy anything which is $1,000 and above. What do you mean by this, RJ? Okay, this is like simple. Sometimes some lender or some bank, they are very, very strict when you are buying stuff because as I said before, they can track all your financing while you are under contract. Especially this one, you need to remember when they said you are clear to close from the bank. So it means like the bank said they approve everything to you. So they're going to put your papers to underwriting. Okay. So once they said that yeah, you are uh, clear to close, we have like 24 to 72 hours to get underwriting. And then you need to transfer your money to the escrow or to the title company. So so they can process all the paper in that stage i wouldn't suggest to buy anything more than a thousand because that is the crucial stage of when you are buying a property it means that they're gonna run everything again for the last time and then to make sure that everything is on point you don't have any debt coming in you don't have any uh, financing coming in so that to make sure that they are okay they are safe to lend you a money for 500,000 or 400,000 loan I just suggest like don't buy anything more than a thousand just for those particular time that you are clear to close takes like from one day to three days and then once they said the underwriting go for it it means like you have to pay your down payment to the title company so they can process your paper once you paid your down payment then they will give you a closing it could be the day once you pay your uh, payment for closing on that particular specific days 72 hours on the day that they were asking you okay so once you paid once everything goes through so what will happen is they will schedule you for closing so what will happen once you close the property once you paid everything and then do whatever you want 
all right you can apply for credit card you can finance a loan you can finance a car you can finance a furniture you can finance a cell phone do whatever you want because you are close the property is yours now they don't have to think about like hey this guy has so many debt you know this guy cannot afford this you are now responsible for the property and you are now the owner of the property they don't care if you apply another credit card if you want to buy more than one thousand dollars above you know all that stuff because if you don't think about this five tips that i'm give you or i gave you this is gonna be huge problem or it could be as i said before it could be delay your payment or your mortgage and the second is it could happen that you know you cannot buy this property because of those simple things that you just made under contract so that's the video for today guys i hope this is helpful if it does make sure to subscribe if you haven't done so and smash that like button again and if you enjoy this video until this end make sure to comment down below under contract so i could see how many people who's under contract right now or if you're not you know feel free to contact me i will help you to guide this stuff from start until the end so that you will get your real estate goal this year so i know i'm talking too much so i'll see you on my next video peace